right, that music tells us it's time to call the June 13th Architecture Review Board to order. Uh, Steve, if you could read the roll, please. Sure, Dave Albeg. Here. Alderman Rust. Here. Jerry Jones. Here. Pam Langan. Here. Dick Lindy. Here. Um, Bob Hybron was going to be absent. And who else am I missing here? Me. Joe. Joe Clark. <laughs> Here? Yeah, sorry about that, Mr. Chairman. <laughs> <laughs> and we'd like to welcome Alderman Zach Rust to the board. Look forward to having you uh, part of the team. Um, and then moving to item number two, if we could all please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, Indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. <laughs> That's great, all right. Um, and as Steve said, with Bob Heimerl not being here, uh, any other potential conflicts of interest? Hearing none, we will move to item four, approval of the minutes from May 23rd. Second. We have a motion and a second. Any further discussion? Hearing none, all those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Minutes are approved. Thank you very much. And Eric, if you and your team can come forward and make introductions and then give us a brief synopsis of what you're proposing for Sheboygan Leadership Academy at 1305 St. Clair Avenue. Absolutely. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Um, my name is Eric Fleischman. I'm with Abacus Architects right up the road. And this is Laura Studi, principal of Sheboygan Leadership Academy. Um, we are in the area and uh, we have a new facade renovation project that we're proposing. Um, basically, the building needs a facelift. The neighborhood and the school, or more of the school, but it will bring up the whole neighborhood image. Um, the school wants to become, um, kind of bring their building into the new, a new chapter and kind of become more appealing to new families and community members. Um, by doing that, this kind of first project is to take the existing elevation and kind of repair it as well as improve it by using um, thin brick products um, shown here. It's, um, the color scheme is influenced by um, their existing scheme. Um, so with, maybe Laura could talk a little bit about the colors and why they, they are colorful. Um, we're, not, we're not your regular building here. Um, so maybe Laura could talk a little bit about our colors sure. and how, what that means to them as a school. Sure, so the design really was generated by a lot of the work that we've done. We are a school of character education and virtues. One of the virtues that we practice is creativity. So creativity and just talking about service to others and service to the planet kind of all wraps in our ideas about upcycling, being bright, being creative, repurposing old materials. Obviously, the Rehabilitation Center of Sheboygan, when we took it over, has definitely been a work of love. Over the last 10 years, we've constantly and consistently renovated the building, trying to make it the best, or one of the best charter schools in Sheboygan. I won't say the best. Um, <laughs> and we've just really enjoyed the project. We enjoy always trying to make the building the best for our students. And so the facade has been kind of slowly just dilapidated and kind of the um, structure that's on there right now is like a stucco, it's slowly crumbling. And so we really wanted to not only redo the front of the building, but also bring in natural light for our students. And just pairing those ideas with the virtues of, you know, creativity and service to the community and service to just our natural world as well and using those kind of, kind of upcycling mentalities. We wrapped it all in and worked with Eric on this design. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Um, so I'll add to that a little bit. Um, right now the facade has basically four classrooms kind of butted up to it and we have these old drafty moldy windows. Um, so first of all it's unpleasant for students and the daylight is also an issue. So we, we wanted to kind of solve two of those issues by um, bringing more natural light in, um, getting higher thermal uh, performing windows. Um, granted, we are making the windows bigger, bigger openings for those windows, um, but the intent is to get natural daylight in, um, get a better insulated window, um, 
and then also improve the, the image of the elevation. We're using masonry products as well as an Aluka bond product, two different types of Aluka bond um, system. So all three of those, uh, in addition to kind of the aluminum storefront windows, we think is going to really, we're investing a lot of money into this elevation and we want to kind of produce that image of quality and um, a, an exciting new place to learn for students. Um, so those are kind of the grounds of, of where the materials came from. Um, we took existing openings. We we increased the height of them by uh, removing the bottom courses, or we, we will remove the bottom courses um, to create a bigger window opening. There is a awning style window on the bottom half with limiters at four inches with um, screens um, to protect kids from going in or out. We're also going to be putting in, um, we just had a discussion about this unfortunately after the Texas shooting, um, we wanted to put a, a protective film over all of our glass so that uh, projectiles and things of that nature will not, it kind of, I think it kind of, any projectile would kind of get, the glass would break but it wouldn't shatter. Um, so we're working, uh, that's kind of a recent, that'll be in a construction bulletin, but um, we're trying to account for those safety issues with that. Um, so do you have any questions about um, the facade itself and how we arrived at what we did. So I, I, I presume you're yeah. the glass you're talking about, the glazing, it's low E? Yeah, it would be a, a dual pane, thermal pane. Um, it's a uh, solar band 60, I don't know if that, so it, it blocks the bad stuff and then um, like UV light, but it also uh, performs well. It's kind of an industry, industry standard. Um, so double pane. So any idea what the uh, U value and shade coefficient is off the top of your head? Um, I think with the solar band 60, it blocks 60% of the ultraviolet light. As far as the U value per unit, that's what you're asking? Um, I probably could get a cut sheet on that. They've tested it. We're working with Sheboygan Glass okay. and they're putting together the storefront. It's kind of a pre-manufactured aluminum but uh, I could I could get that together and send it to you guys if you'd like, um, for for that value. Dave, were there specific performance characteristics you were looking for? Well, I, I just I noticed that there's a fair percentage of uh, glass on the exterior walls, and and uh, their comments were that they want it to be comfortable for the students, um, and they were concerned about. Uh, I think you were alluding to glare earlier in your presentation, and that's why I asked those two questions. Generally, the low-E glass can get down to like uh, 0.04 to 0.03. I, I'm not sure where yours will fall, but um, that's why I was just curious. Mm -hmm. More concerned about the conductive losses. And I can get, I'll get more specifics from Sheboygan Glass. Okay. Other questions, Pam? I couldn't quite tell. Is the top band of the building that real, real light brick color, or is that a different material? The, the top, that top, yeah. I know you have the picture of it, the very top. I didn't know if that was brick or if that's something else. So the top is. Oh, okay, right, right, right. Luca bond with yep. the chest, it's their chestnut. Okay. Um, but basically, it's kind of a quarter sun grain look, um, very plain and uniform. Okay. That would form kind of the upper. Band. Yeah, I was just thinking that brick would be a little heavy, and I assumed it wasn't that, but no, <laughs> I brick, couldn't really tell. Brick below, kind of at the infill of the windows, okay. the existing window openings, and then a look about the pilasters, the silver at the pilasters, and then above is that the wood. Mm -hmm. Good. Thank you. Yeah. If you want to pass those around. Let me see. Um, as far as as far as how it goes together, it's uh, pretty simple. There's sheathing with uh, sprayed on uh, weather barrier, and then the there's kind of a proprietary metal track that goes onto that sheathing, and then your mortar bed goes onto that. Um, so it's it'll perform like a veneer wall, 
the, the water will go down and out. Um, and we also are thickening the wall here. Um, we're not intending to remove any of the, well, just enough to create a smooth surface of that kind of stucco surface uh, substrate. So we're not intending to remove any of the R value that has is inherent in that wall. Granted, we are making the opening bigger and I'll, I'll get an answer on the performance of the actual storefront. Um, but that's, that's how we intend to do it. Um, the Aluka bond will be flashed up over the top um, and then it will also wrap the corners so that it doesn't look like a general store. So not, not one dimensional in what we're doing here. So there were some questions that staff had in their comments. I think some of those appear to have been addressed, but Steve, if you could go to the first rendering. Uh, so one okay. of the questions was on the, uh, the west wall. Yeah, that top one on the screen. Um, is that the the green is the west wall and the red is the north wall north that's wall. set back? Yeah, so right now um, I believe right now I believe that green the west the west wall is currently their maroon, I think, and then the north wall is currently like a beige. So if you look at the color pattern that we've set up, we kind of continue what we've already like on the brick. Um, so it goes green, red, brown, blue, and then we restart green, red. So we, we're kind of continuing with that pattern. Um, that, that red is also borrowed from their existing elevations. The blue comes from their navy blue. So we pulled in those colors. Um, and then this is kind of future uh, discussion too, but we were hoping that this elevation and what the material palette we've used here can kind of inform future work, whatever that may be, we're kind of setting up a language of these quality materials that have been kind of vetted by you guys and us that we might use again um, in some form or another. Okay. And then our standard question about rooftop mechanicals. <laughs> sure. Are there units, are they screened? Where would they be going? The, no, there'll be no, this is strictly to the elevation. There's no okay. floor work. Um, we're, we're putting in new openings. Um, new doors on doors uh, eight and let's see eight seven. There's two on that that north elevation, and then there's two. There's one by a loading dock, so we're swapping out those doors. Um, but no mechanical work, no, mechanical no floor plan else. work. Okay, just new Great. fenestration. Perfect. Um, there was also a comment just to reiterate the signage that you're showing as conceptual would need to come back for a separate sign permit. We're not okay. We're not the ones to give that one the thumbs up, um, but it looked fine from my end. Yeah. So. Uh, otherwise, I didn't have any other questions or comments. Anyone else? Otherwise, I would entertain a motion. So yeah. move. Oh, we've, we second. tied. A <laughs> second? I'll second. All right. Uh, motion and a second. Any further discussion? Hearing none, all those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Motion is approved. Wonderful. Thank you Thank very you. much. Good, Good luck. Nice to see, yeah. nice to see you, the right. building getting freshened up. Good yeah, luck sure. to you. Thank you. Just a, one more question. Um, Steve and I had talked. Once we have the architectural review board approval and that letter, then Joseph Schmidt, who's the contractor, will be able to come in and get a building permit for. Yep. He should be able okay. to start talking to uh, Jeff Lutsky and the building permit uh, okay. process. Okay, sure. So, sure. Thank you, sir. Yep, so if, if you want, you could have those guys start to begin that process right now if you want. Okay. Jeff, Jeff Lutsky. Jeff Lutsky or Lene in our building permit office. Okay. Yes. Beautiful. All right. Thank you. Yep. All right. And our next meeting is currently scheduled for the 27th. Yes. And Pam, you're back with us now. <laughs> <laughs> yep. I'm, I'm back. All right. Yeah, uh, so I think I think we got a full board again. Yes. So we're good. Great. All right. Uh, if there's no further business, uh, entertain a motion to adjourn. So moved. 
We have a second. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. We're adjourned. Thanks, everyone. Sweet. Thank you.